Hey there designers, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to make a presentation board from canva.com. First step is to set up a free account from Canva. I have already actually signed in. So after you're signed in, you're going to go up to create a design. And if you go and create a poster, it's automatically going to start creating in an eight and a half by 11 format or something that is easy to convert. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to search for a poster that has similar colors to what I'm looking for. I'm going to do a search for fashion posters. And you know what? The gown that I sketched has this sort of similar yellow. So I'm going to choose this one. I'm going to close this arrow just so I have more room on my screen. Not crazy about the kitty anime. It doesn't really go with my sketch. But what I do need to do is I need to get, I'm going to move this whole thing out of the way. I need to get my sketch into this poster. Right now, you can tell I don't have any of my own images. So I'm going to upload my own media. It is saved on my desktop. Right there, we're going to open it and it will upload it here. So then once it's done uploading, I'm going to drag and drop it into my file. And then we're going to place it approximately where it should go. It could be, might be nice off to the side. We're going to see, right? We're going to get to play with this. If you want to edit the shape, you can do that right here and then it will crop it as you go, which is a lovely feature. So over here, if you'll notice, when I click on the text, it moves it all together because right now, this mini title, the main title, the subheader, these are all what's called grouped together. I'm going to ungroup them so now I can move each item individually. I'm actually going to move a lot of these off to the side. I don't need them yet, but I very well might. So first I need to give this a title. I think this sketch is actually a little bit too big. So we're going to call this, um, let's see. We'll just call it turtleneck dress to be, be pretty simple. This is pretty big, this font. So if I go here, I can adjust the size and then I just click anywhere and I can make it a lot smaller. I'm actually, that's still really big. Oh, you can also adjust the size by clicking on the outside. Then over here, I need to include what it was influenced by. So this was influenced by turtlenecks in the 1960s. And then down here, I also need to include my color swatches right? So what were, what would I say these color swatches were? I don't have the uploaded marker swatches. So what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to go to elements. And when I go to elements down here, you'll see all these different shapes. I'm going to insert a shape and you'll see it inserts a circle. Um, I do not need my color swatches that large. I think this is about a good size, but I don't have any of this peach, right? That's not my color. So I'm going to choose, oh, and it pulls out the colors in my photo, right? Which makes my life super easy. What I can do here is I can actually duplicate this up here quite a few times. And then I have more circles exactly the same size. And you'll see when it gets these lines here, it means that they're all perfectly aligned. So then this one, I need to change the color. I don't have this color. I have more of a darker, I have a lighter yellow. And then with the belt, this is a color of her brown leather belt. So now I have those there. This looks like a nice font. I like that it's not bolded. Then we're going to give it the names, different colors. Ooh, that's really tiny. So we can increase the font until it's a size that you can read. That looks good. I'm gonna drag it underneath there. 
Then again, I can duplicate it two more times so I have exactly the same font. And you can see the cursors, it lines it up in the middle of the circle and in the middle of the other ones. Um, this one looks more like a rust. Please get more creative than this with your names of your colors. This one. This is like a rusty sunshine. Uh, so what size is this font? This is a 40. So I need to make this one over here 40 again, which I just made smaller by accident. There we go. Bring it up here. We will align it. There we go. And then of course you can add more details here. You could add your website. You need to have your name created by Mrs. Trisco. If you wanted to add any other background, you could definitely do that. But this is a simple, easy way to make a presentation board for your sketch. Mm -hmm.